I'm a big Scrubs fan. Um, it doesn't seem to load any faster than it does on a Windows. Maybe a little bit, but it's not very noticeable. But yeah, on your basic iTunes, if you're used to it on Windows. Um, what the heck was that? What was that album over there? This. Oh, that's a friend of mine made a song. Alrighty, so let's close out iTunes. Let's look at iPhoto. Alright. So, welcome to iPhoto Online, and you can watch tutorials. This is a game I went to against the New York Rangers and the Devils. Now, you can switch between photos with three fingers. Just swipe. Swipe. Oops. These photos came with that Mac. Yamir Yager over here. Martin Brodeur. So yeah, that's iPhoto. Now, the new thing about iPhoto 09 is that events. You can have a whole bunch of events. If you have flowers, just click on flowers, and your flowers pop up. Now, the new thing that Apple is really happy about is faces. Um, I haven't set it up yet, but it says to get started with faces, select a photo of people you know, click the name, and type their names. Alrighty. So let's go to a photo I have of Yarmir Yager. Hold on, let me. And I click name. I'll put it over here. I think it only found that person. I don't want that though. Add missing face. All right. So this is Yarmir Yager. Now his name, Yaromir Yager. All right. Done. Now it'll try to get all the pictures it can of Yarmir Yager. Put it into him. Um, you could probably see I didn't have many clear pictures of him. So, probably won't see it working with that, but it will work like with the regular face. Places. If you watch one of the Apple keynotes, they explain to you that if you have a camera that has GPS tagging, um, it'll take the photo, it'll scan it, and it'll tell you where you took that photo. Alright, so that's iPhoto. iMovie. New thing about iMovie is that it has uh, stabilization. So if you have a really shaky video, it'll analyze it and it'll take away all the stabilization. Personally, I don't like, I love it, but it takes a very long time and I understand that it has to go through a lot of processes because I understand it goes through every pixel of the video, but it just takes a while. So if you have an 8 minute video, probably take around 16 minutes to analyze it and change it up. Let's see what else. There, you can add your music from iTunes, um, your photos. Yeah, you can see over here my NJ Devil fan photo that I have in front of all my videos. A um, couple effects you put your mouse over, it'll show you the effect. Transitions. My favorite one is this one and the cube. Oh, no, I just like the way that looks. And then it has the little map th uh, things for the GPS tagging around the world. Nothing that special. 
That's iMovie. Also, I forgot to mention there is a precision editor, which is like a mini timeline because there isn't really a timeline in your project library in iMovie. But precision editor is the closest thing they have to that. Garage pan. That takes a lot to go through, so just watch one of the Apple keynotes and you'll know what GarageBand is. Basically, GarageBand, you can create your own song, basically any instrument, you name it, and you can create your own song from clips that Apple's giving you in GarageBand or clips of your own. Um, and also, new this year, you can buy lessons to learn how to play piano or guitar. Spaces, I haven't set up yet. But basically, you can go to many different windows. If one, if you have some a lot of things open in one window, you can go to another window, and there'll be nothing on it. Time machine. Here, I'll show you guys time machine. Alrighty. So you can scroll through different days and it's pretty cool. I will probably be finding this very useful because sometimes I delete things. Probably shouldn't delete. And with this I can restore them back. Um preferences. Nothing new, just regular preferences. And documents and downloads. Well that's about it. Uh, this is my review of the software that came with the MacBook. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to contact me you can leave a comment and I will most certainly reply or you can just drop me a line at njdoublefan26 at gmail.com. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.